I was in my garden, admiring the bees, shooting pictures of their fuzzy bums sticking out of flowers as they pollinated. Someone suggested that I use them as an inspiration. And so this month for Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts, I'm making little honeybee shadow boxes. I'm using the fold-up boxes as my base in both the oval and rectangular versions. Simply fold along the dotted lines and glue the flaps into place. I like to use clothes pegs to keep everything where it should be. When assembling boxes with lids, it's a good idea to put the lid together over the base to ensure a good fit. For the chipboard bees, I paint the wings and bottom with white acrylic paint. Now to add some yellow. The yellow I've chosen is a little bright and I should have used something a little more earthy like a yellow ochre. The midsection, head and legs get a lick of black paint. The stripes are painted on with a dark wash and I sort of tamp it with my finger to soften the stripes. I'm cutting out tiny wings that have been printed onto transparency sheets. These will pop against the white paint. A small dot of hot glue and the wings are pressed into place. I'm adding a pinch of black flocking to create a fuzzy bee texture. But don't worry if you can't find any fuzz, you can just paint over the hot glue with black paint. The honeycomb is painted yellow. The boxes are lined with old paper. Inside, a coat of white paint and a wash of blue. I'm using some gorgeous paper from Graphic 45's Floral Shop to cover the bottom and top box elements. You'll notice that I'm cutting the paper to fit the boxes rather than pre-measuring the papers. I'm also cutting out the lid windows after applying the paper to make certain that everything fits just so. Some pretty vintage ladies are fussy cut for the inside of my boxes. I'm using self-adhesive foam squares to place them on the background. Pieces of the painted honeycomb are added to the box exterior.
hot glue and a pinch of moss, then we paper flowers. Now to add those beautiful bees. For more information and supply list of the products used in this project, follow the blog link in the description. And if you're inspired to make your own honey bee box, be sure to share with me on social media. I love to see the things you make.